Hey guys, it's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be cleaning my dirty room. It has definitely gotten out of hand, so it is time to clean it. It was a little better a week ago, but I lost a wallet like a while back and I was just super determined one day to find it. So I removed all of like my storage from like under my bed. I like looked in my closet. I basically tore apart my entire room and I did not find it which is very annoying, but it's okay. I've kind of made peace with it. It's a material thing and material things can always be replaced. So um, it just sucks because it was a gift, but I'm not gonna cry about it. I just have to move on. So today I decided to start off with my makeup table because it's so satisfying seeing it clean and it's just pretty easy to clean this area. I always say this in every video, but most of the items don't even belong there. They're just stuff that I carry from my bathroom into my room, which is like all my skincare stuff. So I just kind of packed all of that in boxes and put it back in the bathroom. So it took me no time to clean. I used a Windex disinfecting spray to clean and disinfect my desk. And I think that doubles as a glass cleaner, but I honestly feel like it didn't do that great of a job. So I used another one and it just made everything look a lot better. What if we were out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life. You like the drive, get down and dirty. I got the bad guy. You want some love, you like when you feel like calling a midnight. Mm, you got the best of me. You got me losing sleep. Yeah. I've been hopeful, baby. I was hopeful. While I was doing the floor, I was getting a little discouraged because there were so many little things that I just didn't know what to do with or I wanted to get rid of, but I felt like I couldn't. Like I have a bit on the floor that has all my camera boxes in there. I really wanna get rid of that stuff, but I feel like if I do sell my camera, the resale value would be better if I kept the boxes. But like, I mean, it's been, it's been like five years and I haven't sold my camera yet, so I just don't think I am. I don't know, do you guys keep your boxes or am I just a weirdo? So I decided to take a little break because I was hungry. I got, I got some chopped and then I decided to work on wedding stuff. If you're planning a wedding, you know that any like extra time that you have like has to be dedicated to wedding planning because there's always something to do. Got some emails back from a few vendors that I reached out to, which is pretty exciting. So I was looking at that. The last time I spoke about wedding planning, I showed you guys the wedding registry that I started to make with Zola and I partnered with them to show you how I've been planning my wedding and now we're at the final stretch. Uh, my wedding shower is in a couple of weeks so I've been kind of keeping track of all the gifts that have been bought on my wedding website. 
It's actually really simple and easy to create. I created mine in like a couple of minutes. It's very like plug and go, which is definitely my vibe. They have hundreds of really pretty designs to choose from. So you don't have to worry about like, you know, oh, I'm not creative or oh, I can't do this. Like they have things for you to choose from. So it just makes the process just super easy and smooth. You literally just have to find a design you like and just plug in like your picture, your information, all of that, and Zola takes care of the rest. This is what my wedding website looks like right now. I only have two pages right now because I haven't sent out my formal invitations. But once I do, my guests will be able to RSVP online and find all of the information they need on where to stay, what to do. And once they RSVP, my Zola guest list automatically syncs all of their meal preferences and plus one, so I don't have to do that which just makes my life a lot easier because when you're wedding planning, there's always something that you need to do. So anytime I can automate something, I will. I also wanted to mention that you're able to make your wedding website match your invitations, which is pretty amazing, especially if you love a cohesive look like me. But if you do prefer to match and match, Zola has hundreds of invitations for you to choose from. So you're not like married to one design. You can do anything you want. I mean, it's your wedding, so it should be exactly the way you want it to be. And the best part about doing your invitations with Zola is that you're able to add a QR code to your invite. So if someone has a smartphone, they can just take their smartphone, scan the QR code, and it automatically just brings them straight to their website. They can RSVP, check out all the information that they need all in one place. And it just makes things easier for your guests and also for you, which is also very important. So if you're in the middle of wedding planning or you think you're gonna be engaged soon, I highly recommend checking out Zola. They have have everything you need and they'll just make the process go a lot smoother so I'll have a link to their website in the description box all right so break time is over I just have a few more items to finish on the side that I was working on and then I'm gonna move on to the clothes on my bed and then the floor space by my closet I don't know why I'm such a messy eater, but I dropped some of my uh, salad dressing on the table. So I had to clean it up and obviously throw out my trash. So I'm just doing that really quick. That pile of clothes in that corner is technically all clean. Well, I guess it's not all clean. They're all new clothes. They're on the ottoman, but they fell because I was trying to get into the ottoman. I have nowhere to put these clothes currently because I am out of hangers, but I'm going to fold all of them and kind of like Put them in one place so I can deal with them like once I buy some new hangers. Moving on to my dresser, as you guys can see, I have a ton of bags and I asked you guys in my last video what I should do about it. And I got a comment saying I should just put it inside my drawer. I thought it was a really good idea because it didn't really require me to buy anything. I think eventually I do have to buy something to store my bags, but I think this is a great solution for right now. After I finished my dresser, I stopped cleaning and I started working on some more wedding stuff. I was determined to pick a honeymoon destination that day and I wasted all that time because I didn't actually pick anything. But yeah, it was like getting late. I think it was maybe 10 o'clock at this point. So I spent like two hours just like doing more research on like different resorts and all that stuff my problem is is i look at too many bad reviews and once i see something like crazy i don't like i'm like yeah no i get tropical islands have bugs but i'm sorry i'm not doing the roaches i'm not doing mice running around like i 
I can't deal with that. So yeah, those are some of the things that I was seeing at like five star resorts. So yeah, it's been difficult. Realizing that I can't be too, too picky because you know, every resort is gonna have bad reviews. Like that's not something that you can escape. So I think I'm just like, I've been kind of obsessed with everything being like perfect, but that's not reality. And honestly, I've been to many other resorts and it hasn't always been perfect and I've been fine. I, I think I'm just freaking out because it's my honeymoon. I'm like, oh, it has to be perfect, but not everything's gonna be perfect. I think it was about 11 o'clock at this point. I was really tempted to just go to sleep with a pile of clothes in my bed, but I don't know where I found the strength or the motivation. Actually, I do know where I found the strength. So I had 20 minutes left on my memory card. So I basically decided that I'm just gonna fold until my memory card filled up. By the time it filled up, I was basically almost halfway done. So I decided to finish the rest. At this point, I was ready to go to bed and I was trying to fold as fast as I could. As you can see, that little pile by my closet is slowly growing. That's all the clothes that I mentioned before, my new clothes. Let me know if you wanna see a haul because I can definitely do that for you guys. The next day, I'm about to strip my sheets so I can put them in the laundry. And then I'm going to sweep my room, dust it. I'm not gonna move any of these clothes because so that's just gonna stay there for now. Then I'm gonna vacuum my carpet and then bop. So I vacuumed my floor a little bit as well, but then I couldn't vacuum the other side of my room because my studio lights, so I just swept over there instead. But I'm from a city that's size cool. I give them the cinema I go. Cause you a bad man, you should have. As always, I went in with my Swiffer to kind of just dust my floors. I just feel like brooms just don't do enough and the Swiffer really grabs onto the dust and the hair and just makes me feel like my room is a lot cleaner. I didn't pick up too much dust. My room was not that bad today. I really wanted to give my room a deep clean today, so I used a mop instead of using the Swiffer mop to really get my floors super clean. And I think the next time I do this, I'm going to polish my floors because it's definitely time. An hour went by and my sheets are finally clean, so now I'm just making my bed. I almost forgot about my big mirror, but I'm just wiping it down with the Windex disinfecting spray and then I'm wiping it down with the glass cleaner right after. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.